Hey, welcome back guys to part 5 on CMS Blogging System. So today we would be writing the code for our uh, admin panel index.php page. Uh, today we won't be you know, doing any PHP or any kind of a programming stuff. Uh, we would be more focusing on the CSS and we would be creating the grids for our admin panel. But very first, uh, if you guys remember, the one thing we are missing in our login page is this. If I'm gonna hit login, it's gonna do some kind of a funny stuff. See, it came from the top to the bottom. So we will have to fix this particular bug, I would say. So what we need to do for that is out here, I'm gonna open the login.php file and where it says uh, div errors, which have, you know, a margin top to some pixels. Just above it, I'm gonna create a new div. I'm gonna name it to fake because we won't be doing anything inside it. Just a space. Okay. And from here, I would be opening my custom doc CSS file. And here on the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna take the margin top off from this particular errors and I'm gonna give it to the div ID fake I'm gonna say div ID fake margin top to 240 pixels okay this way I believe it will solve it for us now refresh no it didn't let me check it out why out here, here's my div ID fake. Okay, I believe it didn't took any margin. So it's a div ID F A K E. I have the same thing. But why it's not showing? Let me refresh the page again. Yep, now now it's looking fine. So now it is on the bottom by default. If I'm gonna hit login, it's gonna remain same at the place where it is right now. So we can put the credentials. I created admin and admin as always. And here it will go to index.php page. So we will be writing the code for our index.php page now. It would be index.php. I'm gonna open it. Here would be my simple HTML markup. And here the title would be admin panel. CMS or whatever you guys want to call it. This will go to CSS slash style.css. We will be creating a new style sheet. We won't be using the custom.css. We will let it be the way it is for our login page because the login page will have different kind of dimensions and everything. And we want a lot different for our actual uh, admin panel interface. So here, I would be creating some devs. The very first one would be a div ID header, okay? And uh, out here, I would be creating a div with a class of call full, okay? Here, I would be giving myself a note that uh, ending header, and here would be the note to end call full. Uh, guys, inside it, we would be having two dev. One would be header left, and the other one would be header right. Because uh, on the left, there would be our logo or our actual name of the blog, and on the right hand side, we will have you know, a person who is logged in, name, and uh, some custom settings button. <laughs> so here I would be saying header right. And, and here would be and better left okay seems pretty fine I would be putting some space for now so that we can actually see where our devs are one up here as well 
So we will go to the CSS folder and there I would be creating a new file out here. So I'm going to name it change child.css. And here I'm going to open it. First, I'm going to import some default markup. If you people want, you can go to Google, you can search for HTML5 default CSS style sheet. You will get this particular junk of code that you can paste. And uh, if you people are using InType, then again, you people can actually work with bundles. You can go to a CSS bundle and uh, here would be the CSS important. Go ahead and paste it out here. Every time you will, you know, hit a tab with this particular sign, it will give you the all markup. That way I do it. Uh, okay, guys, back to the work here. I'm going to give myself a note. Main styles will start here. Yeah. So very first would be div ID main wrapper. Okay. And uh, here I would be saying width 200%. And before that, we need one more thing, guys. That would be our body. And uh, I would be saying font family. Then would be the font size. That would be 11 pixels by default. Then the font color to 191919. And uh, the background would be white. Okay then some zero and like the margin zero and the padding zero to make sure our page will render same way in all of the browsers <clears throat> and from here we can actually start our own styling now now we say div id header should have a height to 50 pixels a line height to 50 pixels as well background to black okay and uh, div class callful will have a width of uh, <clears throat> let's say 980 pixels and a margin to bottom okay then I'm gonna say class clear that we haven't created till now but don't worry we will create this step should clear both the reason we need a clear both kind of functionality if you're floating two devs one on the left and one on the right everything that will come you know um, after that div that will not render correctly and to that unless you will not clear those two devs so as we have a div id header left and header right we will be floating them on left and right here i'm going to create a div and I'm going to name it to class view. We won't be doing anything with this div, but we need this div in order to make sure everything that will come after our header should render properly. Okay, then we have header lift. Let me say div ID, header lift should float towards left with a width of 60% and the div id header right will float towards right with the width of let's say 25 percent and gives them some background to see where the devs are right now so i'm gonna say background to white okay paste it out here come back refresh the page and let's see what we get okay so guys this is our entire header we have this is our div lift and this is our div right okay <clears throat> and from here we have 980 pixels i believe we can increase it to thousands let me see thousand pixels okay this looks a bit fine or i would say eleven hundred. okay 1100 is fine and this is our left one and this is our right one now what we need to do is I'm gonna take these backgrounds off for sure and uh, inside here no here 
I'm gonna create a H2 that would be saying CMS admin okay very simple one and on the header right uh, on the header left I need a menu bar as well so I'm gonna say UL ID main landing with li link tags the very first one would be to dashboard okay then I'm gonna say posts okay then I would be having page or pages uh, after that we will have journal settings okay then we will have something called um, let's see manage users you know uh, I believe uh, this would be fine and if we need any more we will add them later but for now they are fine let's see how they are looking obviously would be ugly for sure yep. let's see they are coming out here on the bottom we want that okay so I'm gonna say UL ID main menu and UL ID main menu 